Hi everyone, Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. With iOS 26 ready to drop in September, what better time to take a look at our iCloud storage? If your iCloud storage is always full and you're tired of seeing that little warning pop up, don't worry. Today, I'll show you how to free up space without losing your important photos and files. These tips are simple, safe, and perfect for all of us, especially seniors who don't want to risk losing our memories. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is see what's taking up space on our device. Now, I'm showing you this on an iPhone. You can use these same instructions on your iPad. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings app. We're going to go ahead and select our name at the top. Now we're going to select iCloud. And then at the very top, we're going to tap on storage. Give it a chance to refresh. And the first thing to do is to check what's actually using up your iCloud storage. So here you can see that photos takes up a big chunk of my storage. Also, iCloud Drive. You could also check to see if you have any backups, extra backups, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Once you know, you can decide what to tidy up. Let's take a look at photos first. Photos usually take up the most space on our iPhone, but there's a setting that we can turn on that will optimize the photos for iPhone storage. And this keeps the full resolution photos in iCloud, but stores smaller versions on your device. You'll still see every picture and you can always download the full quality versions if you want to. This can save gigabytes without losing a single memory. So we're inside of the manage storage option. If we tap back in the upper left corner, we're in iCloud. I'm going to tap on Photos. Here you'll see that I already have Optimize iPhone Storage checked off, and this will save you uh, storage in the long run. Another option when it comes to photos is to use shared albums. If you have older or less important photos, consider moving them to a shared album these don't count toward your iCloud storage, but remember, they're saved in a slightly lower resolution. It's a great way to keep family shots accessible without taking up space. So I've opened up the Photos app. I've scrolled down and you'll see I have a few shared albums here. If I tap right here where it says Shared Albums, I can tap on create. And then if I say add photos, I can add as many photos as I want to the album. Once I do that, I can name the shared photo. I don't even have to add any participants. You can if there's somebody that you want to share it with, but you can give it a name, say create, and then those, fo those photos will no longer be taking up space in iCloud. You'll also want to take a look at your backups. Sometimes we keep backups for iPhones or iPads that we no longer own. In the Manage Storage area, you can tap on backups and remove the ones you don't need. So if I come back into uh, Settings, and I'm already in iCloud Plus, but let me just tap back, go ahead and choose iCloud. And then what you're going to want to do at this point is tap on backups. So scroll down until you see iCloud backup, tap on that, and you'll see the devices that are listed here. If you see a backup that's to an old device that you no longer own, you can go ahead and delete that backup, just make sure your current device still has a working backup 
before you delete anything. So if I tap on my uh, iPhone 15 Pro, it'll tell you the last time that device was backed up. So if you see a device that doesn't belong there, tap on it, make sure it's an old device you're no longer using, and then tap on turn off and delete from iCloud. Messages can quietly eat up storage, especially the photos and videos that are stored inside them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, scroll to the very bottom, tap on apps. I'm going to tap on the M on the right hand side and now I'm going to choose messages. Scroll down to the bottom and you'll see an option where it says message history and on mine I have uh, set messages to keep forever. If you want to save space you can go ahead and tap on forever and change that to 30 days or one year. You can also open a conversation inside of the Messages app. So let me do that. And if I tap at the names at the top, here I can tap into this. I can scroll down and it says here, Photos, See All. can tap that. I can select the photos that I want to get rid of and go ahead and tap on delete. So if there's documents or photos there, you can go ahead and tap delete and you'll only remove those documents or photos. You won't lose the rest of the conversation. If you have large videos, PDFs, or projects that you store in iCloud, you can either download them to your computer or an external hard drive, once they're safely backed up elsewhere, you can remove them from the iCloud to free up space instantly. So I can do that a couple of ways. I can come into the settings app, tap on my name at the top, select iCloud, and then select Drive. And as you can see, it says I have 100.4 gigabytes stored in iCloud Drive. I can tap on Manage Storage. Here, it gives you an option. You can review and delete large files. So if I tap on that, now I can go through these files, select the ones I want, just tap Select, select the ones I want. And once I do, I have the option to delete those. I'm going to dismiss that for right now. The other option you have is to come down here, tap on review files. It's going to take you into the files folder to the iCloud drive area where you can go through and delete the things that you no longer need or move them to an external drive or your computer. Here's another option that most people forget. When you delete something from photos, files, or notes, it actually stays in the recently deleted area for 30 days. Open those folders and empty them. You'll get space back right away. So right now, if I come into the Photos app, you'll see that there's a recently deleted uh, section under utilities. Now, if you're not seeing uh, utilities, scroll to the very bottom, tap on customize and reorder, and be sure that you have utilities checked off. And then you should see that option. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the X, come back up to recently deleted, tap on it, and it says, you know, use Face ID to view this album. And then here you can go through all of these photos and delete them to get space back right away. In the notes area, you're going to want to do the same thing. Come back to the main area of the notes. Scroll down until you see recently deleted. Tap on it and then remove any notes that you no longer need. Uh, in the files folder, it's just as simple. Let's open the files folder. 
and then make sure that you're on browse, find recently deleted, and then delete the files that you no longer need. You'll get the space back right away once you delete them. If you're still always full, you might want to think about upgrading your storage from zero to 50 gigabytes or 200 gigabytes. It usually costs just a few dollars a month and it's a lot less stressful than cleaning up every week. So to locate that, you want to tap on your settings app, tap on your name, tap on iCloud, scroll down and locate manage plan, tap on that, and then choose the storage plan that's most appropriate for you. Maybe 50 gigabytes does it. Or if you're like me, I have two terabytes. You can go all the way up to 12 terabytes a month if you feel that you need that. But I would always think about upgrading storage so I don't lose any of my precious memories. By following these steps, you can keep your iCloud organized, avoid that dreaded storage full message, and still hold on to your favorite photos and files. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend who's running out of iCloud space. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.